Are you here to help me drain the pool? I am, Gail. Oh. So m the breadth of my draining the pool experience is really around those soft-bodied pools. Step on the soft. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm kind of guessing maybe stepping on a single boiler espresso machine isn't going to drain it in the same way. Well, no. Unless <laughs> you got an elephant standing on it, and then I think it, and it drain. drains everything. Yeah, it drains everything. So, what were the reason you would want to drain it? Okay. If you're going to ship it somewhere and it's cold, mm -hmm. like even in the cargo hold of an airplane, it's freezing. It'll burst the boiler if there's water in it. So ship it. Ship it. Store it. Store it. If you want to store it, or even if you want to store it inside where it's warm, who wants dirty water in there for a year? Or or just like hanging out and building up scale, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and bad. then just shipping it in general, like yes, they don't always keep everything nice and upright. Right, and they can go upside down. Water will come out. Get all over the box, get all over the machine, and then you're not happy, we're not happy, nobody's happy. Nobody's happy. Okay, so, so this is, we chose the Via Venezia as a single boiler, but this would apply to any... Any single boiler. Uh, traditional single you know, boiler machine. Aroma, Sylvia, any traditional. All right, so where do I start? Unplug it, or turn it off. For, no, first, water <laughs> in it, get it up to steam temperature. Okay. Then turn it off, unplug it, take the portafilter filter out. Remove all your goodies. On this particular machine, to get the water tank out, you take the tray out and take the water tank out. You don't want to dump this all over the place. I guess that is important to note that you do you shouldn't keep a full water tank because you're just going to keep cycling it through. <laughs> right, especially if it's on. Okay, so what we're gonna you need a sink. It's got okay. all over the place. So you're gonna open this up. By tipping it down like this, you get more water out of the boiler. Okay. And so it's really running on its own steam. <laughs> right, Gail? <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I like to do this outside because it squirts all over the place. Yeah. But, yeah. but this sink has got enough size to it for the small machine. Yep. And corral so, it. Up and left. That's it. Oh, well, I've done the Sylvia. You take it outside, it'll squirt for 20 feet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Honest okay. to goodness, yeah. Oh. And this is a relatively small boiler. So you yeah. just, now um, now that I'm done, do I want close to this. close it? Okay. Yeah. All close right, it. so I don't want to let it sit. Well, for shipping. For shipping, okay. If, if this is open and there happens to be a little bit of residual left in there, you're probably okay for the freezing. But when they tip it upside down, it'll come out and go all over the place. So is there any plus, there's no plus or minus for me keeping that valve open if I'm just putting it on my garage shelf? Not and that I know live. of. I okay. can't think of any reason why it could be open or closed. Either way. All right. So you can that air out that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is draining a single boiler espresso machine. That's all you have to do, folks. It's really very simple. And Thanks, like I said, Gail. I like to do it outside. It squirts all over the place. It's kind of fun. <laughs> all right. Thank you. You're welcome.